you've had to visit a local emergency room recently, you've probably noticed that they're very busy. Oftentimes to the point where ambulance crews are waiting just to get their patients in the doors. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us what's behind the problems and what's being done about it. At midday on a Thursday, there are no fewer than six ambulances parked outside the emergency department of Mercy Health in Youngstown. As one leaves for a call, another pulls in behind it. And once they arrive, they're there quite a while. We're seeing four or five, and even this weekend, we had a six hour wait at the hospital. As ambulances sit outside Mercy Health in Youngstown, we're hearing crews are having trouble just getting their patients inside because there are already so many people inside waiting to be seen or treated. We have to wait for the hospital to accept that patient, um, move them over, and then our crew to clear, um, decon, get back in service. Putting an even greater strain on healthcare systems and EMS, people using ambulances as a sort of ride service for routine care. We have folks that are using the hospitals as doctor's offices right now, and that adds to all of our problems. Those are the patients because they're not the higher priority, they get pushed back. Officials with Mercy Health tell us they're aware of the problems with ED delays and are encouraging patients with non-emergency issues to use their network of eight walk-in locations to help ease the burden on everyone concerned. Please use the clinics that are out there. Uh, the emergency rooms are overwhelmed, which makes EMS overwhelmed. In the meantime, the chief tells me a meeting is planned between hospital administrators, ambulance companies, and first responders to try to find solutions. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.